Hey Jubei Jubei, um, this video is going to be about Supergirl, the first season of it. Uh, I, you know, I haven't commented on it so far, I've been watching it, I haven't commented, I was waiting until the season ended and I was like, I'm going to give you my thoughts, you know, on the whole. Um, before I get into that though, we lost Prince, man. This, this year, 2016, can you bloody believe it, dude? It's Prince. He's dead. Prince is dead at 57. You know, police were called due to a me medical emergency, or sorry, emergency services were called to a medical emergency at his house last night. We don't know what the cause of the death was yet, but god damn it, Prince. 1999, Bat Dance, Purple Rain, Raspberry Beret. This is how it feels when doves cry. Ah, oh, just. Timeless guy, man. Just those are tunes. Do you remember when he played the Super Bowl a few years ago? I do. It's the first time I ever watched the Super Bowl. God damn. Ah. I've said this on Facebook, so I'm going to repeat it here because I feel it bears repeating. There's an episode of the regular show where uh, Mordecai and Rigby go to the underworld and they go to a rock and roll bar that's reserved only for legendary music icons. Um. Except for one character who's a, who's a parody of Slash, who seems to have a day pass. Beyond that, um, I just that that's with all the great artists that we've lost, you know, friggin' Bowie, Lemmy, in, in so short a time, all I can think of is that the man behind Purple Rain has earned his place among that number. So, rest in peace, Prince. Now, the Supergirl portion of this video. And if you want to turn off now, that's fine. <laughs> uh, if you only wanted to hear my thoughts on the on the Prince passing, there you go. But this is first and foremost a, a video about Supergirl, which is a show that I'd largely written off for a long time. Like even after the first episode, I'm like, I guess it's all right. Um, it's you know, it's it's a it's a surprisingly good show. You know, it's um, unlike Agents of Shield, which is a hard sell because you know, you can, if you tell somebody that oh, you got to check out Agents of Shield, that's a hard sell because Agents of Shield specifically doesn't pick up until like the sixteenth or seventeenth episode, for a reason, and it all turns out. And by the end of the sh yeah, by the end of the season, it's fine, but it's such a hard sell. Um, or like Arrow, or well, the Flash is an easy sell. Flash is a good time all around. This show is a really, you know, it, it kind of has this sort of bubblegum, nice bright feel to it. It's a fun show, but it's got a lot of sensibility. It's got a lot of. It's it's a very topical modern show. It's um, obviously it deals with the character of Supergirl, Kara Zor-El. She was sent from Krypton to look over her co to watch over her cousin, Kal El. Um, unfortunately, she got sort of stranded in the negative zone, and then, you know, yeah, she just arrived at Earth some, what was it, 24 years later, I believe? Where, uh, you know, at, at which point he's already Superman. Uh, and then, so she's sort of adopted by Dean Cain and Helen Slater, this Supergirl from that movie in the 80s, which is a nice little tip of the hat. She doesn't use her powers. She works as an assistant at Catco, um, Cat... Grant is her boss, and she's played just awesomely, just perfectly by Callista Flockhart. Now, Cat Grant in the comics is sort of uh, a rival to Lois Lane in that she's trying to get, you know, Clark Kent's affections. In this, she's a media mogul, she's a diva, she's high and mighty, but she's so great. She's like a mother figure to uh Kara Danvers in this and she's great that, that that's that's all the plot I'm going to give you you know okay she she discovers she's she decides to become Supergirl she dresses up um and then she ends up working with uh the DEO which is a department kind of an X-Files style department that's uh, set up specifically to deal to counter alien and extraterrestrial threats okay so what that so there's that let's just take let's just roll with that for now that's pretty cool um I can't really go into too much some of the, some of Supergirl has already been spoiled for a lot of people. That's fine. I'm not going to spoil on this. Uh, her boss at the DEO starts off as Hank Henshaw. Yep, starts off, um, who's in the comics is a cyborg clone of Superman. It's not quite as cut and dry as that. Uh, there is another A-list superhero in this in this series, and I was really excited to see him. 
Superman in this show frustratingly is not in it, um, but that's kind of the uphill battle of this show. It's a case of, you know, in a world where Superman exists and, you're, and your character is related to him, why don't you want him to appear? But that's also, plot-wise, that's the struggle of Supergirl. She's like, how do I live up to my cousin's legacy? How do I be a hero in my own right? You know, will people look at me differently because I'm a woman? And feminists and socialists will really, really gravitate towards the show because it speaks a lot about, you know, about a woman's place in society, a woman can't lose her temper, you know, what, you know, if we see a woman doing this, why is it different to us seeing a man do this? And it's kind of eye-opening for me, man. Uh, but not in a sort of sisters doing it for themselves way, just in a really sort of nice, thought-provoking way. Um, the Superman issue, again, just to go back to that, he he never appears. He's treated like, uh, if you've ever watched The Thick of It, or Veep, he's treated like the Prime Minister or President in those shows. He's, always, he's often referred to. Uh, she often gets little WhatsApp messages from Clark, which is something, uh, but we never really get a good look at him. Uh, one time we see his boots. But it's not about him. It's about the character of Supergirl. And I will say this, above all else, Melissa Benoist, 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 I think, is perfect. Like, even when the show is a bit dodgy, even when the special effects let you down, even when the writing seems a bit odd, uh, or, or the rest of the episode seems strange, she's perfect. She can ably car carry that show on her. There are more than one occasions where I got a little bit glassy eyed just watching her, just like, oh my god, this, she, god damn it, she's good at this. I turn to my fiance sometimes when we're watching it, and, she's, you know, and there's one scene where she just kind of lets it all out. Uh, at a, she, she has a, she has a Fortress of Solitude style hologram of her mother that she talks to, and one time she just, she just yells at this hologram, and it's so moving. It's, I could go on and on about this show. If you're a Superman fan. This is the best Superman that, this is the best Superman show that isn't actually a Superman show. It features, little, it features a Brainiac, it features Maxwell Lord, who's a kind of this show's Lex Luthor, but maybe a bit more altruistic. Um, it features a Bizarro, you know, we, we see a White Martian. It, it, it's a great Superman show. If you didn't like Man of Steel or Batman vs Superman, if you don't like the DC movies Henry Cavill Superman, the Superman that we don't see in this series is instantly more likable. You know, we hear about him, we hear how good he is, you know. There's a Jimmy Olsen that's not Jimmy Olsen. He's James Olsen because he's... Um, because he's played by Shaft, I guess. The, the, the dude is so cool and tall and sexy as all hell that it's, uh, it's weird seeing that Jimmy Olsen. But whatever, he makes it work. I accept this. 21st century Jimmy Olsen. Cool. Um, and that's that's really all I have to say about Supergirl, man. It's, it's a really good show. It's def you'll, you'll, It has a charm. And it'll win you over. I mean, The Flash shows up at one episode. It's pretty cool. Uh, and there are more than enough little DC Easter eggs. So, if, you know, if you're watching some shows, you're like, there's not enough Easter eggs. I want to see them reference this character. And they don't do that. They'll do it in this show. Guaranteed. But those are my thoughts on Supergirl. If you like this vid, please click like, subscribe, view, share, and all the usual jazz. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye.